Um, you know, I mean, pre all this, you, you've already, you know, you were already like an activist and doing all these wonderful things, mm -hmm. you know, um, I guess like once you feel like physically better, a little mentally better, do you have any like plans to do even more stuff because you've already done so much and you already are like, you know, you already are, are so active. Do you have more plans or just like keep on keeping on, you know? You know, I plan on always doing, you know, pr prison abolition work um, and uh, mutual aid and anti-fascist work, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, I don't know. Uh, my friend Lorenzo says I'm a mid elder. <laughs> He's older than I am. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, um, I think it's great that all these groups are coming along. You know, you got uh, Michigan Liberation, Detroit Will Breathe, you know, and Eviction Defense, which is needed now with uh, COVID and these crappy landlords that are like raising rent <laughs> during COVID. Um, Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> And, you know, all the mutual aid groups that are coming out now and, um, you know, doing, giving people resources and, edu you know, educating people about stronger communities, I think, you know, I think it's well needed that we all band together and, um, and work together and education before action. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, it's been a lot of time to reflecting and, you know, uh, this whole COVID thing, you get to see people's like true colors that, you know, mm -hmm. some people have turned the corner of, you know, and like, oh, hey, you know, uh, I never thought about these things. And then other people are just still mad that they can't go out and get a $10 burger and a craft beer somewhere. And mm -hmm. you're like, really? This is your... <laughs> yeah, that's your problem? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, like, and the fact that they build these igloos for people like really irritates me. But yeah, those uh, igloos you, like could be the used dark side for... of people too. <laughs> like uh, how privileged they are, I guess you know. Yeah, yeah. I know people are complaining because they make over eighty thousand dollars a year, and not going to get the stimulus check of fourteen hundred. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> just be lucky <laughs> yeah yeah exactly uh -huh. <laughs> well is there i mean if, and like is there anything else that you want to add or um no i think like i think people sh i think we should still be careful during this covid thing personally mm -hmm. um uh i feel like rushing into opening everything up or just even giving 50 percent mm -hmm. i think people you give people 50 percent they're gonna take 80 <laughs> percent you know and uh we still need to be careful and i encourage everybody to get the vaccine that was one good thing that happened is like i'm vaccinated you know yeah i got my first shot <laughs> but i'm still wearing a mask and washing hands and yeah you know because i could i believe once you have the vaccine you can still transmit it plausibly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I encourage everybody to get the vaccine. Um, it's no big deal. You're just gonna feel a little bit crappy for a day. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's worth it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, you could be on a ventilator for a month or, uh, you know. Uh, or worse. You have it too, like lung problems, you know. Yeah. For the rest of your life, so. Yeah, I think we should keep on it, you know, mm -hmm. till this goes away. Yep. Not like, I don't know, Texas, <laughs> where they're just opening everything up. <laughs> I know. Oh, I when we, when we get done with this, I'll send you, uh, I have a friend in Texas and he sent me a, a sign that's pretty grim, but it says, yeah. welcome to Texas. You're all going to die. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so another thing I want to add too is um in the prison system um they're they're getting hit hard with mm -hmm. COVID and um 
I think Michigan, outside of Washtenaw County, uh, Michigan prison system right now is um, got the largest cases of the new strand of COVID, oh. the MLC. And um, that's not being brought in by um, the prisoners, it's, you know, the staff too. And, mm -hmm. and reports have it, you know, um, from Huron Valley Correctional Facility that they're not even giving out proper masks. And, and the mental health is really um, a big issue in the prisons right now because they can't get visitors and whatnot. And uh, so that's something we're kind of looking at right now. Yeah. It's, they're pretty much ignored. <laughs> yeah, they're treated like they're not people. Exactly. So that's been something that's been brought up by a bunch of people. So yeah, put that out there. So people are right <laughs> now. Yeah. Is there anything that people can do to like, I mean, I, I think I saw something about like letter writing campaigns that you can write. Yeah, uh, there's letter writings. Um, I work with uh, Anarchist Black Cross Detroit. Mm -hmm. uh, you can contact us and we can send you like a list. Um, of, currently we're working with um, folks in the uh, women's prison and here on Valley. Mm -hmm. uh, often overlooked. Uh, they're the only women's prison in the state. And um, it's, yeah, they're pretty much overlooked with like 16 other facilities that are just male like throughout the state. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there is letter writing. Um, and, you know, they're pretty open with the letters about what, what's going on inside. And okay. so I encourage people to write letters if they can, or if they have any questions, you can, there's various people that do um, prisoner work, but you can always contact uh, Anarchist Black Cross too. And we have letter writing kits that we can give you to show you what to do. All right. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> no problem. Anytime. It was really nice talking to you and, you know, we'll check back and talk to you again soon. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Thank you so much for talking to me today, Gary. No problem. And have a great day and... Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> rehabilitating. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. I love you, Gary. You too. All right. Have a good day. All right. You too. Bye. 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 So, yeah, that was my friend Gary Wagaman. And um, as he said, you know, he contracted COVID in November. And although numbers are going down and we've got vaccines and stuff, COVID is still out there. I mean, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we just hit the half a million mark. So please, 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 please still try to keep COVID safe. And um, I can't stress that enough. There's so many wonderful people doing wonderful things and um, we gotta make sure that all these people are still around. I have a lot of, a lot of admiration for Gary. Um, He's just an amazing, an amazing, amazing, amazing person. Um, so yeah, I'm Kamalina and I'll be back soon with another video for Heart of Detroit. I hope that you will tune in again. Have a good day and um, mask up. And hopefully if you haven't gotten vaccinated soon, you'll be able to. I love you guys. Bye.